let's take a look at CloudWatch logs. So to understand that we have log streams and log groups. So a log stream is uh, a stream that represents a sequence of events from an application or instance being monitored. So imagine you have an EC2 instance running a web application and you want those logs to be streamed to CloudWatch logs. That's what we're talking about here. So you can create log streams manually, but, uh, but generally this is automatically done by the service you are using, uh, unless you're collecting application logs on an EC2 instance, as I just described. Here is a log group of a Lambda function. You can see the log streams are named after the running instance. Lambda's fr uh, frequency run on new instances, so the stream contains timestamps. So what I'm trying to say here is that there's a variety of different services, Lambda, RDS, what have you, and they already send their logs to CloudWatch logs, and they're, and they're gonna vary, okay? So here's a log group of an application log running on EC2. You can see here the log streams are named after the running instance ID. Here is the log group for AWS Glue. You can see that the log streams are named after the Glue jobs. Um, and so, you know, we have the streams, but let's talk about the actual data that's made up of it, the log events. So this represents a single event in a log file. Log events can be seen within the log stream. And so here's an example of, you would open this up in CloudWatch Logs and you can actually see what, what was being reported back by your server. It can filter these events to filter out uh, logs based on simple or pattern matching uh, syntax. So here I'm just typing in saying, give me all those debug stuff. And you know, this isn't very robust, but AWS does have a better way of analyzing your logs, which is Log Insights, which we'll look at here in a moment.